not picking on any sports fans. If you guys want to go watch a game here and there, whatever. But historically speaking, these games are weapons of mass distraction. The elite use these. They keep the sheep distracted, watching the game, fighting amongst themselves, betting on their favorite team, while they go and do their dirty work behind the scenes and rob the country of its riches while distracting you. Well, now New York is going to blanket Midtown Manhattan with temporary surveillance cameras as just one of the many security measures being taken to protect visitors for the Super Bowl. There's going to be hundreds of extra cops uh, patrolling Super Bowl Boulevard and up to 700 extra state troopers patrolling the area on game day. And, of course, the sheep are going to be drinking and having a good old time, so they're not gonna even care that the TSA is now gonna be out there groping them and subjecting them to this security theater. We told you yesterday about the Major League Baseball getting in alignment with the DHS. Now all eyes are gonna be on the Super Bowl, and so of course the DHS has to show the world that we are out there stopping terrorism by subjecting lowly Americans to unjustified nude strip searches at some places. Amazing. But it's no different in London. That's the place where 1984 took place. Well, now they're taking that fiction and turning it into a reality. Look at this photograph. It was taken in, in London's Park Lane. It basically just underscores how authorities are randomly using these dubious, unspecified terror threats to, to set up these papers, please, checkpoints where innocent bystanders are going to be searched by police. Now, that sign reads, security operation. Officers are conducting patrols in this area to deter and disrupt terrorist activity. That there is not specified intelligence to suggest terrorist activity in this area, but terrorists need to plan and prepare by observing possible targets or transporting equipment and material around. Police activities, including stop and search, will make it harder for terrorists to operate. Your cooperation and patience will help keep London safe. Oh my goodness, I can just hear the loudspeakers around the city of 1984-esque just announcing this to the people. This is okay, this is what we do, this is the new normal. We're gonna stop and search you because we are stopping terrorism because you might be hiding Al-Qaeda in your underpants. So we're gonna stop and search everyone, no rhyme or reason, we don't care about your rights. And this is, they're, they're starting it there, they're trying to make the American people get used to it with the TSA and now going into sports stadiums and, and letting us know that there is this totally non-existent threat of terrorism, but that we should be on constant high alert for it. Introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. See the rest of the nightly news at our sister YouTube channel, The Info Warrior, or become a member of PrisonPlanet.tv and help us take the message of freedom and liberty to the next level. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to this channel.